Hey guys, so today I've got another video for you, and in this one, we once again we have another unboxing, and we have the Britain's general purpose trailer, and some Britain's fertilizer bags, or I just have unboxed on, yeah, 132 again, as I usually do, don't like anything bigger or smaller, um, so yeah, um, I brought these to go together, just because I'm hoping I can fit all six in that trailer, I'm not exactly sure if I can, hoping I can. So yeah, um, the boxes on these are really vague, I mean, just a picture on the back, shows you, once again, three years old, bit of a farm really, boxes, it's looking really young, on well, the fertiliser bag one, so I do like that these fertiliser bags, you've got the Britain's logo, which I really think is a very nice touch, I don't know why, but I think this looks really good on them, for the uh, general purpose trailer, um, Got the logo of Britain, you can see it. Um, just to tell you what it is in different languages. Underneath, once again, like every other model I think is three years old. And uh, yeah, just some pictures of it. Back can come down. Um, it should fit on any tractor or any model of 1 to 32 scale with a hook attachment if it's got it. So I'm going to open these up. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Right, so I've unboxed them, um, um, everything's out. Um, so, yeah, um, knowingly, I can only fit three in the trailer, which, yeah, that's kind of irritating slightly, but, you know, still quite a bit of room on the trailer, which is seriously annoying, though. Yeah, uh, if you look at the fertilizer bag, it's got a hook for, like, a pallet tying, which you can attach it to they're very light they're it's literally just plastic you can throw them so easily um like i said the britain's logo on it seriously oh i didn't know what's on the inside it's seriously nice i generally think it adds so much to it so it's just not like a plain empty bag it looks like an actual fertilizer bag or a seed bag oh. so yeah um there's got a hole in the middle see to add weight to them i'd say like you could probably put like a bit of sand in it and then glue that hole up I could add a little bit of weight which would be not a bad idea really so yeah um fur bags no idea how much I spent on these I generally cannot remember how much I spent on these they were quite cheap but the postage I think was mentally expensive really expensive for these I don't even know why I bought it so once again I'll leave a link in the description for these so yeah Fertilizer bags, I really like. I'm gonna order a order a JCB uh, forklift for this. I am just looking at the pallet time, which I'm gonna put my my uh, six six sixteen Massey. I'm hoping that's gonna work. At least if it does, I'll be so thrilled. So these are the trailer. These to one side. This here is the trailer itself. For metal. I'm assuming that bit there's metal. Um, quite a bit of room on it, could probably fit a few bales on it and anything you really want. Back folds down here. Um, bottom of it isn't, no, you're not going to really be seeing that, but yeah, um, this bit here, I really, I was scared that it wasn't going to move, but it does, and it, uh, spins around as well, like it would on a normal trailer, which I really, really, really like. So yeah, that's all it can really do, the trailer itself is, the wheels. Fair bit of detail on them. Really? I don't mind that. I mean, this is alright. Once again, Britons, they do alright stuff. So, yeah. Um, like I said, they can only fit. I bought this trailer mainly for the sole purpose of hoping it could fit. Like, um, all six of these in, but they do that unless you really want them hanging off the edge like that with each other. But it's really nice. They can end on like this. There's no bother really. Um, so yeah, it's a nice trailer. I'd say you could fit like a Land Rover for it. Like a small tractor. For this. Well, from that, yeah. Um, this has been another review and unboxing. Um, if you're a collector and you want some fur bags, I've not seen any others at all. So, and I think these are really nice. I generally really do like these. 
If you have a collector, I'd say yeah, buy these unless you can find something else. Um, once again, I, anyhow, for, even if it's for a collector, you can still buy it for anyone really. Child. Yeah, uh, for trailer, there are far more detailed ones out there. Like there really is. I've seen some that are quite expensive. So this is quite nice, like I say, for a collector of my standards, which isn't exactly very high. Well, um, this is half, this isn't half bad. I quite like this for a really good, like uh, like a hardcore kind of collector person. Um, maybe I'd say it's a nice touch. I mean, you could the only thing there's not really any else detail you could have for it really. So yeah, I'd say these are. Both of these are solid, good, very good for a collection, really. I would highly recommend them. I'll leave a link to both of these to Amazon down below if you're interested in buying them. This has been another review and unboxing. Thank you and have a nice day.